Hey everyone, in this example we are going to look at the division of polynomials and we have 27x cubed plus 64 divided by 3x plus 4. In an example like this one, we have a few options of division that we're going to be choosing from. There are two cut and dry ways to do this and one reliable, will work every time no matter what the example. The go-to method I would use on an example like this one where we're dividing by 3x plus 4, where we are dividing by a linear um, binomial in this case that has a leading coefficient that is not 1. This eliminates the option to use synthetic division. So long division is the go-to. It will work. It's reliable. Go to it, right? You just need to remember your placeholders and watch when you're subtracting. This particular example would also work if you considered it as a simplifying a rational expression where you think of the 27x cubed plus 64 as the numerator and the 3x plus 4 as your denominator and you know how to factor the numerator. But the numerator will not or both will not always be factorable using conventional methods so like i said something like this when you see something like this i recommend that you use long division if you don't want to be wasting time and messing around all right so that's what i'm going to do for us right now so to do long division on this example out here i will have the 3x plus 4 and then i will set up my division and i'm going to be using a couple of placeholders 27x to the third is my leading term and my largest power. It's already in standard form. I do not have a quadratic term, so I'm going to fill in 0x squared. I do not have a linear term. I'm going to write out 0x. And I do have a constant. In this case, it's positive 64. If it were negative 64, make sure whatever sign is in front of a term is the sign that you carry through when you're fixing up your problem, right? So how do we handle something like this? I would do as I always do. I'm just gonna shrink this up just a bit. I would do as I always do, and if you need more support on something like this, I would recommend that you go ahead and look at my other division videos. I have an entire playlist, long division playlist of polynomials with tons of examples. All uh, Most videos are just one example at a time. Some are quick, some are a little bit more detailed. You want to divide your leading term, in this case 27x to the third power, by the leading term out here, in this case 3x. That gets me 9x to the second. That is going to go ahead above the other x squared location. So that puts me right there, 9x squared. We're going to loop around counterclockwise over and over. So this right here is going to distribute 9x squared to both of those terms, and then I'm going to write it underneath right over here. 9x squared times 3x is 27x cubed. If you don't get the same first term, you messed up. You're not doing it correctly. Reset. Start over. Figure out what you're doing wrong, okay? 9x squared times 4 will be positive 36x squared. Then we have my phrase that pays, parentheses, minus sign, underline, cancel. It's called cancel when you're adding or subtracting to make zero. It's called to reduce or to simplify if you are dividing to make one. Don't mess it up. Zero minus 36. This really is then negative 36x squared. We drop down the zero x. The main place we're going to find mistakes here is right there. Okay, people are going to put 36x squared. They're going to disregard the minus in front of the parentheses. You'll see this in a few more examples in the future of the playlist, a couple more down. There's a bit more practice with this, please. <laughs> There's like 10, 10 main things if I had to make a list of things that you need to leave Algebra 2 knowing and not messing up on. Distributing a negative is one of them. You have to know how. You gotta know how to factor, and you gotta know how to transform graphs of parent functions. Those are those are three top things that you need to know. All right. Anyhow, we're gonna repeat this process. Now I have the new leading term, negative 36x squared, and I'm gonna divide it by that same leading term, which was 3x. 
A negative divided by a positive. This is something you should leave Algebra 1 knowing how to do. Make flashcards. No shame. But there is only shame if you're not willing to help yourself. Then you should feel a little shame. You got to know. Divide over here and I get negative 12 x negative 12 x and again that's going to get ran up here above above my linear column so minus 12 x and then i'm going to take this negative 12 x and that is now going to distribute to the 3 x and the 4 okay so it's going to distribute right there sorry it's so crazy looking so what do i end up getting well negative 12 times 3 is 36, but negative times positive is negative. So you will have um, negative 36 x squared, and then 12, negative 12 x times positive four will be another negative 48 x, right there. Phrase that pays, parentheses, minus sign, underline, cancel. Minus a negative becomes plus, and then negative 36, plus negative 36 plus 36 is zero. So that makes us zero x squared. I'll just put this up over here for us, I guess. And let's, there we go. It's a little squishy, but. There we go. Sorry. So what do I have? Zero minus negative 48 is going to be positive 48. Positive. Zero minus negative. Zero plus positive 48x. And I drop down my next term plus 64. And we repeat. What is 48? In this case, it's positive 48x divided by that 3x out there. And that gets us what? 3x goes into 48x. 48, 48 divided by 3 is one that really you should know. All right, it comes up a lot. You should know it, okay? So that's going to be 16, and the x's are gone. So right here, that is a constant term, and that's going to wind up doo -doo -doo, here in the column where all the constant terms are. So 16, and again, we're going to go all the way here, and it's going to distribute to the 3x and the 4. 16 times 3, 48 x 16 times 4 it's another one you should know 64 parentheses minus sign underline cancel 64 minus 64 0 that 0 is your remainder if your remainder is 0 I hope we all remember what that means um it means that this and this are both factors right are both factors of that thing right there Okay, so I hope this made sense to you. I hope this is something that you are fairly confident at doing and you know how to do. And uh, yeah, if you understand and you were able to get that answer correct and you didn't mess up your positives or negatives, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you're sad and stressed and distressed and mad, put a thumbs down get it out of your system, and go look for more practice on my Division of Polynomial playlist, okay? Um, click through for the next example. Have a good day.